Incoming message. Mackenzie Chang, lieutenant within the True Sun's ranks, age 32, and the third target to pop up in the last few weeks. I searched Isaac's databases and managed to find Chang's file along with some interesting comms. Mackenzie Chang is a third generation Chinese American who was born and raised in the DC metro area. His family has a proud tradition of serving our country. His grandfather on his mother's side joined the Navy, as did his father. And at the age of 18, he followed in their footsteps and enlisted in the Navy for himself. Unfortunately, life on the water didn't suit him. Instead, he found himself reassigned to the ground transport team. Still, he felt his time, skill, and energy was being wasted. And a year before the end of his contract, an unfulfilled Chang found himself in a bar fight where he broke his arm and three of his ribs. Luckily for him, his father and grandfather were able to pull some strings and get him an honorable discharge. Afterwards, he returned to civilian life and found a job as a security guard at a museum on the mall. But in time, he would grow bored as he missed his regular combat trials. He would even try his hand in hunting and airsoft, seeking to get the same adrenaline and rush. Eventually, he joined the National Guard with the hope of someday getting back in the action. When the National Guard was called up to secure the mall against peaceful protesters, Chang saw an opportunity to use his knowledge from his mall security days to set up a perimeter. General Anderson, Antoine Ridgeway's right-hand man and current leader of the True Sons, was impressed by his initiative and took him under his wing in the True Sons Logistics Department up until Ridgeway's death at the Capitol. In time, Anderson would give Chang his own unit although denying him a promotion to captain until he could prove himself a worthy leader first. Although it's clear through intercepted communications between Anderson and Schaefer that regardless of rank, Anderson had high regard for Chang. General Anderson, I just wanted to send my condolences about Dusk and her team. Thank you, Schaefer. Moving forward, is there someone else you'd like me to work with? That won't be necessary. The Division has control of your supply routes in D.C. How do you think you'll survive without our assistance? Well, Lieutenant Chang has more than enough experience organizing transpo and supply drops. We no longer require your services as a glorified errand boy. I think you're making a mistake. I've only made two mistakes in my life. The first was trusting Lao. The second was letting her bring you into our operation. Good night, Schaefer. It appears Anderson grew tired of Black Tusk's failures, and Chang's expertise in the logistical supply trade just made that relationship expendable. Schaefer and Chang would have direct communications not long after. Schaefer, this is Chang. Come in. Good to hear from you, Lieutenant. You change your mind about working together? No. So this is a social call? Tusk was a good woman and a damn fine soldier. I know. She was going to meet you, and you got her killed. You know that was beyond my control. You weren't even there. You left her to die. You're right. I wasn't there. We've run into some complications. What kind of complications? There was another player on the field. What the hell are you talking about? Those division agents weren't the only ones targeting her. You make it sound like she was being stalked. Or hunted. In D.C., Chang's unit has managed to capture the Potomac Event Center in Foggy Bottom. He set up a forward operating base to ship in supplies from the Potomac. The base is fortified by three strategic locations, Navy Hill, Taxi Graveyard, and Sleeping Giant. Chang is determined to prove himself worthy of a captain's rank, but his pride and eagerness to serve will prove to be his downfall. Let's take back the DC supply line and keep him from earning that promotion. <laughs>